Hi folks, Andy from the Car Boutique here and we're looking at another brand today on what is a very windy and wet November 2022 day. But this is real world testing, it's uh, real conditions on a real car um, and we'll see how we get on. So, Mile Deep, what do we know about Mile Deep? Well, they've only been around for about three years, the brainchild of two um, engineers, Jody and Tim, and they launched this brand in 2019. Um, now, there's been a lot of social media sort of advertising and they've got themselves into position where their reputation is really, really good. And I've talked to a lot of our administrators and um, admins, and they say, Andy, go and, go and test it. So here I am doing a video for your enjoyment, education, um, and amusement, probably, um, on Mal Deep. Now, Mal Deep's main focus, we talk a lot about brands coming on the, onto the market and some survive and some don't. Mile Deep are sort of their USP is sort of two sort of two, sort of two dimensions. One is about freshness, innovation, bringing new products, okay, with that fresh vitality feel to it. And I'm sure the branding, the matte black and green, stands out is fresh. The main thing that appeals to me is the sustainability. Now, if you go and look at the website, um, a developing focus is getting uh, generating a lot more momentum. Is their sustainability? Their, their, what they're using for the actual chemicals and their actual containers as well. It's all about sustainability. All right saving the planet piece and I like that I think that is a very very good angle and very topical um, in terms of what's going on in the news today November 2022 so I hope that that development that evolution evolution that focus maintains and maybe some other brands step on board as well all right because um, it's you know it, it's the planet at the end of the day although we like um, sort of sorting our cars out at what cost to the planet and I like that focus really really does appeal to me now we've got a lot of products here I'm going to try and get through as many as I can can, if I can't get through them all because I never rush, we'll go on to a part two. But as always, this is going to be open and honest. We've got a real car, it's dirty, there are some limitations. I'll give you a survey tour very, very shortly. You'll see the weather. I'm going to get wet today, okay, but hey ho, luckily we've got the garage once it's all clean, we can take it inside and do this sort of detailing aspect of it. Um, I'm probably going to end up machine polishing it um, and doing lots of stuff like that and all that kind of stuff because um, the main focus, although to test this, is this is someone's car and I want to look at uh, make it look as good as it can be in the time we've got. We've got a full day, we've got Saturday to do it, okay, so essentially what we're going to do. So, got some accessories, got loads and loads of product really looking forward to this one so let's have a look at the wavy flags have a look at the car and get stuck in Today to work on, we have got a Golf uh, Blue Motion TDI. Look at that weather, I'm getting wet today. Um, it hasn't got alloy wheels, it's got hubcaps, so we'll take them, remove them, clean the actual um, steel rims um, and uh, spruce up the actual hubcaps as well. Um, nice and nicely dirty. Don't do, you do this one at home, but that's, that's really mucky and it's really, really gritty. Don't worry, I'm machine polishing this map. I'm just doing it to prove how dirty it is. Um, inside's not too bad, and um, we're gonna spruce that up as well, but normal winter grime. Lots of sort of bird deposits etched in. Now, there is quite a lot of scratching down here. Now, that's gone th right through to primer. Um, I'm gonna see if I can tidy up a bit, okay, but um, very, very limited. And um, that's gone right through the paint. So um, I'll see if I can sort of disguise that a bit better. But a nice, clean, uh, dirty car to work with. Absolutely no protection on it whatsoever. There's no hydrophobicity on the rain there. And it's raining again. So nice, nice, dirty. It should come up all right, but you can see it's just dull. It's the, the paintwork's just dull. And that's what detailing is all about. It's cleaning, it's decontaminating, sprucing up and putting some protection on what should come out as a nice shiny car. So that's the challenge for today, a Golf. Um, let's start the process. Okay, the first one I'm gonna look at is Release, which is their concentrated citrus pre-wash. Now they're not alloy wheels, so um, I'm not gonna be hitting this with Fallout. I have done the Fallout on another um, hubcap just to show you um, the actual impact, the potency of the product, but we're just gonna use the pre-wash as a sort of a tire cleaner and see if it can get this dirt. Now this dirt is baked on 
it's probably never come off the car okay so highly concentrated ultra high performance pre-wash um, the good thing i like about these products is they're not there's no fillers they're not diluted down and you can mix it to whatever ratio you want so one part one for heavy soiling one to five for medium soiling which is what i've put in this and also one to ten for light soiling so we've sort of got a middle of the road on this so i'll, I'll use it on the tires and it is raining straight away all oh, the discoloration always look for that always look for that and then let's have a see straight away look at all the dirt coming off always a good sign look at that just pouring off i right, say so this is baked literally baked on i probably could have gone a high concentration so i'm just going to do the inner bits just to show you good that's all coming off right i'm just going to put that there for a, put that out of sight for a second and we'll see how that's getting on with a tyre cleaner. I have mixed uh, this rush in with a bit of the Mild Deep shampoo as well. Good discoloration, lots off it. Good. Don't wash that down. And all that dirt coming off there as well. Therapy this is. Right, I'm just going to gently jet wash these down so you can see the difference. Okay, so you can clearly see the difference there. And like I say, this is baked on. And then you're just going to hit that and keep going at that. But you can see the discoloration. So it's a citrus pre-wash. I'm really using this as an APC, really, but it just shows you the versatility of products. Tires, I'm going to hit again. And that dirt's still coming off, so keep going with that. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you. We're going to use this on the paintwork as well. The purple iron fallout remover. I did spray it on the inside of these hubcaps a few minutes ago. Just to show you that even iron fallout sticks to plastic. And there you go, look. Okay, now I'm not going to put fallout on these because there is some corrosion in the actual wheel itself. I don't want to be hitting that, but that's just on the inside of a plastic hubcap. And when I did that, that the reaction was really, really quite quick. So I'm going to do it on the paintwork as well when we get around to that stage. Just uh, rough and ready, showing you of the products in use. So I'm going to do the other ones. It's going to take me a bit of time to do all these because these I'm going to take a bit of cleaning, but I know the products work. I'll do the tyres. I'm going to use the um, citrus on the seals just to clean them up, get rid of the dirt, do front and back. Um, they are quite heavily curbed, um, especially this one over here. So in terms of aesthetics, look at all the scratches there. Nothing I can do about that, but I can certainly get them cleaner. So I'm going to finish the four wheels. Okay, that's the wheels done, the tyres done. Trims are looking a lot nicer. Look at all that dirt gone. They just look nicer. Yeah, we've got loads of, loads of scratches there. Okay, but they're clean. So if you're going to do hubcaps, take them off, do front and back. Okay, good times and it's a more professional job. So they basically were used, you, uh, cleaned using the fallout. Okay and also the concentrated citrus pre-wash and we use that at one to five which is medium soiling through the mild deep squisher okay good times right um, i'm gonna leave them to dry the car's gonna be coming in here later anyway so they can go right at the end put some protection on them we now need to get that clean so uh let's do that okay we've just gone round using the release of citrus pre-wash pre as an apc again we've done um all the door shuts so all the main dirts gone from there on both sides notice some staining on that seat okay we'll have to black that can't leave staining on seats we like doing upholsteries done all the manky areas around here and the bottom here so that's all nice and clean done inside the driver's door as well now we have done our TCB tester, don't you do this? Okay, but I'm machine polishing this. This is just to see if citrus pre-wash and the snow foam leave the film that we sometimes see. So if we can still see that after the first two stages of our safe wash process, okay, that's just an indicator. Some remove it, some don't. So that's just a bit of a test, test piece there. Okay, so we are now gonna go on to 
using release citrus pre-wash we we've kept that to the uh, the ratio we did one to five which is medium soiling so we're going to spray that around the car using the mild deep sprayer and we're also going to use their snow their concentrated snow foam at one to 15 parts uh, water so that's medium soiling so um highly concentrated ultra performance ph neutral shampoo uh, snow foam, sorry, um, generates extremely dense, clingy, and durable foam that rapidly softens, loosens, and removes contamination. Okay, spray on, leave five minutes uh, relative to the temperature, and then um, remove um, shampoo, dry your car, and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's the combination we're going to use. I'm going to put on a snow foam, then I'm, uh, a fast mode, then I'm going to come out of fast mode and analyze um, the sort of cleaning potential of this combination. We already know that works, so I'm really looking at this one here, uh, and we'll take it from there. Okay, we've left that, that's probably about three minutes. Um, it is a thick foam. Now, uh, we went middle of the road in terms of our ratio. Um, gone around with a detailing brush and you can see dirt, all the dirt, all the dirt coming out of here. You can actually see it. Now, what I do like is a slip right now I can say we're quite lucky it's quite cool well unlucky because it's raining but you know what I mean now it's quite windy it's got good cling rate that that'll still be there after five minutes obviously if it's hot it's gonna sort of evaporate quicker don't let it dry but we've got dirty foam dripping off the car which is the whole idea still haven't touched the paintwork discoloration of the foam so the cleaners are getting into see the dirt there. Doesn't smell that strong of anything really, just a fresh smell. So the dirt. Interesting to see that TCB disappears. That's where I went around the detailing brush. So really, really good. I get a feel it's, it's quite a potent snow foam. Um, it's pH neutral, but it, it's, it's strong. It's got some strength to it. I mean, look at, look at all that dirt. I didn't touch that, and that's just coming off. Love that. Don't like it when you use a snow foam. You don't see any discoloration. You do question whether it's actually doing anything. All right, but the citrus we know works at medium. Snow foam, this is at medium. Nice, good foam, good cling rate, good slip rate. Happy days. Did hear good things about this snow foam, but I always like to check myself and not go with the trend and following the pack. Excellent, right, reposition the camera and see how easy it is to rinse off, and then we'll have an inspectiona. Let's just have a quick look now. First thing is I can't. I can see scratches, lots of them, but I can't see the TCB test panel. So it's bitten into that last bit of film that's left on, which is really, really good. Just uh, is an example of the potency. Now there is still a bit of film down there, but the TCB bit has disappeared. There is still bits of dirt. I am noticing a lot of scratches on this car. This is gonna to have to be polished, I think, um, which is good. Now, we're on to the snow now. The, sorry, the shampoo. 
Okay, so we're looking at cleanse. Now I've filled this at a medium ratio. You can go one to 80, one to 200, one to 400. We've gone one to 200 parts water, which is medium soiling. Um, just to give you a demonstration, it is quite thick. I'm only gonna put a bit in because I've already worked this out. It is quite a thick shampoo. Um, and high concentration, ultra high performance, pH neutral shampoo. Um, extreme levels of lubricity, is, which is what we want. Dense, durable foam to quickly remove contamination. Non-caustic, colored and additive free. That is easy to use and friendly to all last stage products, e.g. waxes and sealants. Well, I'm not worried about that because this car, as you can see, has got absolutely nothing on it. Look at that. I think it's gonna go into shock when I apply some uh, protection to this, which is good now. Um, really, really foamy. I filled this up five minutes ago. Still lots and lots of froth there. Okay, I'm not gonna sort of um, agitate it and waste product um, because I wanna use it on the car. Um, it doesn't smell like any other um, shampoo I've smelled before. I am smelling quite a few that smell the same, um, but this one has got a very unique smell. It's not um, sort of triggering any recollection of, uh, of a similar product, which is nice. Um, and we're going to give it a go. So I'll reposition the camera. I'll do a quick demo, um, probably on the roof, just to um, show you the lubricity and what I think. And then I uh, will fast smell the rest of the shampoo um, and get it in uh, for drying, because as you can see, I am very, very wet. Okay, let's have a look at this. Lovely and sudsy. It's actually creamy in the bucket. Uh, when the actual sort of volumized foam dies down, it's almost like a, like angel delight at the top of the bucket. That is lovely, lovely, lovely. Hyper sudsy, I'd say this is. I like that bit of resistance. The resistance is, is the creamy texture of the actual shampoo, which is nice. Yeah, final glass, plastic. Glides over the paintwork, and this paintwork is not very good. Yeah, that's lovely. Doesn't actually smell that strong. Like I said, I'm, it's not, it's quite a subtle, fresh smell. Um, the main focus of this is definitely not on the smell. It's without a doubt on the lubricity, the actual product. That's fine. No, really, really good. Happy with that. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the rest of the car and see how effective it is in cleaning that last sort of film of dirt off. Good times. That's inside, thank goodness, so I can dry off. Now we used a combination of the um, blow dryer around the door shuts, the rear window, and all that kind of stuff, and towel dried the rest. Um, and it's only at this stage, really, when you have a, a sort of your secondary survey, um, or really your primary survey after you've washed it, you really know what you're dealing with. Now, that paintwork is terrible. Look at it. Now you've seen me do reviews in the past with the, the lighting and they're all crystal clear. They're all, it, it's the, there's micro scratches, there's bird etching all over the place. Now there is no way I'm just gonna put a sealant on this. Um, I've got the time, I've got the motivation even to clay this because it's rough, okay, and machine polish it. Now we did go round before we dried it off with the fallout spray and um, some tar and glue remover, not really much fallout or, or contamination, which was good. Um, but the, the paint is just, it's just tired. Um, there's bird etching absolutely all over the place. Look at this, look at it all. Um, luckily, it hasn't gone to sort of stage two etching. Um, I can get rid of all that, just a bit of effort. Okay, so, um, I am going to just do a fast mow. It is going to be a full clay 
and two stage machine polishing. So I'm going to use a cutting compound, then I'm going to use a finishing polish. Um, I'll fast mow all that. If anyone wants to know what I use for additional stuff, um, just private message me and I'm happy to tell you what else I use. But this is a mild deep review. Um, yeah, can't leave like this. Got to enhance it. So uh, let's do it. Before you start, do you want to see something funny? Do you, do you want to know why I've still got that hat on? That's why. The hat's going back on. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, so that's it, clayed and machine polished. Um, we did a two stage, um, took some time, really hard paint this. Um, really weird with the clay bar um, because we used fallout and didn't get much of a hit. Um, I did try another one just as a control and didn't get hit off that either. So it's not the fallout and there was hardly any tar removed um, when I went around it with the tar and, glue, uh, tar and glue remover. However, the clay bar was just absolutely covered. Now, um, I talked to the owner and the car gets parked at Heathrow Airport a lot. So I'm not sure whether that's picking up contamination. It's sort of getting through the fallout and the tar and, and, and glue and um, chemical decontamination. but. Um, you know, although it was hard work, very, very rewarding that I've removed that embedded contamination. Um, but if you've had that, a similar experience whereby um, your chem chemical contamination hasn't really picked up much, but then your, your mechanical uh, contamination, decontamination, the claying does, post a comment and we'll have a discussion about it. So we're going to, um, we've got a break in the rain, which is good because I need to put some protection on this. Um, now, normally if I'd gone through this, I'd be looking at maybe ceramic or graphene waxes, maybe even take another step and uh, put a uh, ceramic coating on it. Um, however, we're limited by time because I've spent so much time on this and we've got to test this anyway. So I'm going to put this one on. So we're going to have a look at Shield, which is the ceramic foam sealant. Um, nice and easy. It's a foam on um, and pretty much remove it um, and you apply it through a foam can and, and then just jet wash it down. Claim six months longevity, um, lots of good, good instructions, don't let it dry. I mean it's not a question of you foam it on and straight away switch over get, um, and, and spray it off. You can leave it a little bit, 30 seconds a minute, um, but just don't let it dry. And we talked to Jody and he said if you do when you're using your um, sort of drying towel, get any smearing and everything, just use the ceramic QD, which is good. So if you are gonna venture and try this, get the QD as well, um, because um, they sort of work. I'll get back to the QD, because we've been having a play um, with that um, during this process as well. So I'm gonna take out uh, the car outside, we're gonna set it up. Um, now, I will be honest, um, up until now, okay, well, now, um, you know, stand to be corrected, I've got an issue with these foam cannon on sealants and then removed because my head cannot get around. How can you be 
the tangible kinesthetic massaging a sealant or a wax in, leaving it for five minutes to bond and all that kind of stuff. How can you take the shortcut just by spraying on and off? But I can't let my own preconceptions or biases stop me from doing reviews. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is the first time I've used a product like this. Um, so I'm going to be quite hard um, to convince that it works. But if it does, this is great, especially with the winter coming, you just want to uh, maintenance wash your car, lob some of this on, and it's like your winter coat. So I'm hoping this does work. Um, but trust me, if I'm not impressed, I'm going to tell you guys, all right? Um, so this is a first for me. I'm doing lots of firsts at the moment. I never bought a mystery box until last week. Funnily enough, the, the Maldit one as well. So it's a time of change. Um, what's happening to me? Must, must be the middle age crisis or something. Okay, which is all good. It's experimentation. So let me, let's me waffling. Let's get the car outside before it starts raining. Okay, folks, we've mixed it up at the directed sort of ratio, which is 100 millilitres of product to 400 millilitres of uh, water. And we're going to spray it on just like a normal snow foam. I'll probably leave it about 30 seconds just while I get rid of the snow foam cannon and put my um, extended lance on. And then we're going to jet wash it um, essentially down. Um, now what I will do then is go and have a look at the hydrophobicity because you can remember right at the start this paintwork is dead. I mean it's truly dead now because it's got nothing on it. We've used panel wipes um, after the polishing so there is it's just clean paint. All right so it'll be interesting to see whether the quick process of applying a sealant via a snow foam lance and rinsing it down leaves any product on the actual paintwork to um, um, enhance its hydrophobicity. Um, we want product left behind because that's what's going to give us our protection. So we'll snow foam it uh, um, on and we'll have a look. Straight away, you can actually see the hydrophobicity of the product. It wants to push the foam away, which is weird. We'll show you in a minute this sort of uh, initial impact of the product on the paint. going to sh show you this guys it's almost wanting to force itself off lovely smell it's like a really sweet smell it's lovely almost wants to bead straight away it's weird look at that okay I'm just going to put my extended lance on and we'll uh, rinse it off and we'll do a more detailed hydrophobicity test. <clears throat> so the main thing on this one is do not let it dry. That is quite explicit on the instructions. Okay, let's rinse it off. Rinse is off really easy. But you'd expect that for a product that's enhancing its hydrophobicity. The water behaviour is insane. I'm just going to 
show you this. Doing this one-handed. Look at this. Tell you what, I'm going to give myself toffee. I did a bloody good job of machine polishing, even if I say so myself, because did you see that reflection? I'm going to finish off rinsing and then we're going to zoom in and have a look at these beads because they're whoppers. Okie dokie, let's have a look at these beads. Look at them. The hydrophobicity of this product is insane and I'm not just saying that. Just watch this. This paintwork was dead and all it's had on it is this. Well, if this stands up to its claim, its longevity, even if it's half of that, I am very, very impressed. Like I say, I was super skeptical. And it just shows you how you can prejudge something. Beads on them are amazing. Folks, you're gonna love this product. Okay, I'm gonna go and get the blow dryer out and just have a play with that and just see how easy it is. Now it does say use a towel to dry it, okay, but I'm just gonna play with the blow dryer and have a quick look. Okay, this is just a quick look. Now I don't usually use the air blower on coated cars, but on most it's just for door shuts and all that kind of stuff, so. There's the bonnet wetted. I'll just turn the blow dryer on and see if we can use this just like we would a ceramic coated car. Looks like I'm using my blower a bit more. This stuff is really, really, really good. I am so impressed. But anyway, uh, I don't know what we'll do now. Uh, turn the uh, camera off and uh, get the car inside and dry it off. Okay, quick look at black, which is the tire and trim dressing. They also do their own applicators. Now it is more of a jelly one. Now I've been using this for about a week now and it's one of the ones where it's quite flexible because you can either put one sort of coating on and it just darkens it. It doesn't really give it much of a gloss per se. Then if you let it dry and give it another hit, it goes glossy, which I like that because people have different preferences. 
Um, not the easiest to go on because it's not a liquid, but the gel gives me confidence. It's not going to sling all over the place as soon as I start driving, which I think is quite a good compromise. So you can clearly see sort of the difference with one application. It is quite glossy. But and there you can see the bit that's not done. Now the good thing about this, like I said, it is more of a gel, so I don't think it's going to have problems like with some where it starts slinging off, um, which is which is nice. And the applicator is it's it's strong. Now, it's not one of these ones where you get one use and it just dies on you. I'll just carry on because it is a gel. You have to force it in sort of detail a bit more, but persevere. Now we've used this on bits of plastic. There isn't much plastic on this car um, and it has a comparable darkening effect, hence, hence the name black. Um, interesting to see how, what the longevity is like. Um, but only time will tell. In terms of aesthetics, on plastics and on tyres, which we all like, that's a nice level of gloss. And like you say, if you want to put a second coating on, it does go shinier. So uh, yeah, good times. Okay, folks, that's it. We made it, okay? We got all the products tested and we didn't have to rush. I haven't done and even touched the inside, but I've got no interior um, products, so we'll save the inside for another um, review. We'll have a look at what else Mile Deep have got and maybe do a part two for, for the inside. Um, so we made it, okay, which is good times. Now, we had a look at the glass cleaner. Um, it's, it's a potent product. Um, it, the chemical smells strong and it does bite into the glass. Um, the carrier um, is very volatile. It disappears. There's no smearing and as you can see on the video it, it, it did a good job the detailing spray very flexible you sort of used it the whole um, sort of review really um, we used it as a drying aid we used it for um, mopping up the water and putting a bit of a shine on the door jams um, we used it as a dedicated um, quick detailer so when the car was dry um, I would test it on the roof um, to make sure it can be used as a standalone product as well um, and it is really really effective there's no smearing um, which is which is always nice and um, the last thing you want is a quick detailer where it's not quick all right um, and like I said earlier in, on, on in the video um, if you're using the um, um, Canon um, sealant and you do get smearing which we didn't we left it on for about a minute and um, you can quickly just um, go over the quick detailer and that gets rid of any smearing but we didn't have to do that that is a top tip from the um, the guys that run mile deep which is good now we're really really happy um, with the, with the brand and um, without doubt the standout product is this one here shield now i was skeptical about um all these foam applied um sort of sealants um but this the video sp spoke for itself and you could probably gauge my excitement um really really nice product perfect for the winter and the good thing is i, I pretty much use my blower um, to dry the whole car and I only get my blower out really on non-coated cars to do door jams and wing mirrors and all that kind of stuff um, and it was like the feeling I got was it was like drying a ceramic coated car the, the water just flew off which is good because the quicker you can get rid of the, the water the better and if you can use a blow dryer you're not touching the paint so you're going to reduce the chances of scratching so that's a sort of secondary gain of this um, this is an absolute brilliant product um, and I will be using this again um, I do a lot of cars where I get the car back and um, just for a maintenance wash and I might put some of this over whatever LSP I've previously put on it just to give it a bit of hydrophobicity and a bit more protection and potentially sealing in the good work I've done previously um, which is nice so um, all I'm going to say is I'm going to wrap this up um, thank you very much um, for the guys my fellow engineers at Mile Deep um, for sending me these products um, I have got a mystery box which I'll be launching a competition in a few days for someone to win the contents of that and um, they're all the, the the products I've got out the mystery box um, I'm going to ask you to do something um, to enter the competition so we'll probably launch that in the next seven days just um, keep alert for that um, and as always if you enjoy what we do um, we are an impartial friendly detailing group um, and if you like what we do join us on Facebook join us on YouTube um, and um, get engaged with the conversation and um, we like chat um, we don't um, sort of foster any hostility every question is a valid question because we all started somewhere um, and that's what it's about and I've learned something today um, that these work uh, this one certainly does so excellent 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 watch out for the next review from the car boutique so thank you very much 
Oh, I forgot to say, let's have a look at the before and the after shots before it gets dark. Good times.